You know what, buddy? I've been re-watching and watching and watching again, basically because the chick is a little bit of a cutie patootie. The chick on the plane, yes, maybe she was hammered. Maybe she was just freaking out. But there's something ben to Kissel this woman. In, come out to the valley. If you're here, who is this name of the woman that was on the plane? She said, that's not a real person. I know that's not a the real man person. Is not real is, woman. The man is not real woman. I want to find out what her name is. I because she saw something, and we, again, as we've mentioned, we've talked to the front line of the war against humanoid reptilians, which is your stewardesses and uh, or sky waitresses. I don't know what the term is anymore. <laughs> so I typed in the man is not real woman name right into Google. Yeah, what the first thing it comes up is understanding non-binary people. Well, we're it's not. No, we're talking about reptilians. Time, but I didn't even mean to get here. I didn't mean to. Because uh, I don't needs call. To, you're not one of the man is not real woman, right? But I, I, I believe in trans. Yes, people. of course. We support everybody. Have a good life. Do what you have to do in this goddamn horrible existence. What is the name existence. of that woman from the TikTok video? She was not talking about someone who was non-binary. She was talking about someone who Alien. was made. Much like you, Mr. Zabrowski, in a lab. He might have been. Or she. I think. Whatever. The person wasn't real. It does sound like it was really more of a, a flip out over a lost AirPod. It, I don't know. But that footage, I've just been watching it. Also, when you watch it with scary music behind it, because oh, sure. my Instagram feed of is course. just like, boom, boom, boom. And you're like, this is now really fucking it's terrifying. Scary, scary. And if I was on that plane... I may have just followed her right off of that and gotten continued oh, yeah. hammered at the airport bar. I That's where love is made. Guarantee. If someone walks off a plane, somebody's not re- saying somebody's not real on the plane, I'm going to. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely because, not. Because I'm definitely not going to enjoy my flight from here on out. Unless, of course, that would make the flight the safest flight ever because sure. how much money does it take in order to make someone who is not real look real? I don't know. But these objects, right, so if you do mm. believe this whistle, another, you know, they say whistleblower, but you, do you have to see the whistle for you to be a whistleblower? Or can you do it from behind the shadows? Oh, you can do it from behind the shadows, I think. I mean, honestly, if you want to stay alive, you probably should. You should hide yourself. But this guy came out and he said he was working on these alien entities. And they are they are all they are all too real. That they are physical creatures that might be built in a sort of two spec manner. Okay. Imagine a, a body, a biological body that's more mm. machine than man. And what you do is you you, you like Oscar it. Pistorius, like Oscar Pistorius. He killed his girlfriend, and he was more, but he was more man than machine because he killed his girlfriend. Yeah, but, but then the, this guy, right? He says that you build these things; they are built by something. They have a they they have a little slit of a mouth. They have little ear holes. They have little nose holes. They obviously drink some form of heavily loaded sugary water. That's just from Men in Black. It's Kool Aid, yeah. sugar, sugar water. water. I do wonder, but then you wonder: Did they? What did they know? This is the what fucking problem. Barry Sonnenfeld. Did no. Hollywood create it, or was it created and then Hollywood was told by the entities that what know that these creations know? exist that you should go put this in a movie to normalize it? Yes. And this is where the mystery continues to reign supreme. They've been talking about this for a long fucking time. They also said that Ugh. the gray that you see on a gray is not, in fact, the skin of it. It's the oh. outer layer of oh, it. Oh, I really thought you were going to go with my color theory. No, no, unfortunately, no, 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 it's no. It's the color that he's not. No. Which someone did DM me and say I was half right. I have... Definitely had several people. I'm gonna go on a limb and say they were intoxicated. Send messages <laughs> talking deeply into the your color theory, their color theory, color theory in yep. general. Uh-huh. And I'm bored across the board. There you go. I just don't. I couldn't care. We'll have fun with it. Why not? I, I try not to. But so anyway, if you look inside of the alien when you flip the skin back, it's white, white, uh, like this white. It's like Polish. Oh, it's like, like pinkish white. Have you seen this white? Yeah. This is the whitest yeah, I think part I of me. dissected a frog in it's high so school. It's so white it becomes pink and brown. Well, so what does that even mean then? I don't know. So it's so the gray itself is actually it's clothes. It's a suit and then it has lenses. The black, the black, black doll's eyes. The black eyes that you yeah. will commonly equate to a gray. So they're, goggles. They're, they're, les, they're goggles. And that when you you pop them off, it looks like elongated human eyes. Like like actual human eyes have irises and shit. Well, that would play into the theory that indeed there were humans from the future. I wonder. Because they're, they're all saying, like, according to this fake whistleblower, I'm just saying fake to cover me illegally. You're talking about Grush? No, the, he's real. The guy that was talking about this being the surgeon guy was that they are. They they are built to be destroyed. Did at any point he bring in um, people of the Jewish faith? No. That's at any how point you know. did he bring in? And I Q look at the end of the document. I always yeah. make sure yeah. because it's they save it. Yes, Normally, of course, because that's the is, conclusion. Because that's the idea. Is like yeah. they, you have to have already gone too far. 
right. and have spent too long on this website. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you're reading about the real issue behind the grays. More like the... Again. What's a Jewish color? I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, but I'm just saying the idea know. of that. Yeah, when you get to the end of it, no, I saw go. none of it. I scanned it, though. I made sure. All right. But you never know with these people. Oh, you never Be know careful. with these fucking people. They're already trying to take you out, buddy. As soon as you start talking ufology, you either hurt yourself or get hurt by somebody else. But what's nice about this, the fake whistleblower on 4chan is that no one's properly debunked it yet. It's still out Good. there. I guess because the only way you can really debunk it is going, um, that's fake. Which is like absolutely fair. I mean, it's 4chan. You're yeah. allowed to do that. But you, and that's what you're doing. You're, you are sort of like, you, I, I, I do would understand. Say that that's not debunking. That's not believing. That's it's a little. Just not believing. To debunk, you because have to have there's... the science that actually says, no, that wasn't a gray. This is my friend Tony. This is the suit hey, that they dressed him up in. I'm more of a sooty, dark brown. And then that would be a debunk. If you just said, yeah, it's not real, that's not a debunk. No, that's just an opinion. That is just, you are absolutely correct. And the guy has no proof. Anyway, because we're all waiting for it. You know Everybody's what? just waiting for this goddamn proof. Well, let's move on from the skies and go to the sea, shall we? Because we do have some because proof. Because we have some fucking proof right now. Are you talking about the guy we just got? Who? Long Island serial killer, man. Oh, no. I was thinking about this story, but we'll, let's do that first, and then we can talk about how uh, these people went on a cruise, and then a bunch of whales were killed in front of them. Oh, yeah. They did did you imagine? Look, honey. Look at all the whales. <laughs> whap, whap, whap. It's like, oh, the joys of the sea. Mommy, are them whales making juice? Also, no, that's blunt. There was an adults only cruise that I saw advertised, and I was like, no, that looks fun. It's the Virgin Cruise. But I said, there ain't a Virgin on that one. No. Seriously. I feel that. Do you really want to go on an erotic cruise? It's not erotic, it's just adults only. That means erotic. That means they have a casino. I mean, that's cool. Normal yeah. cruises don't have casinos? I don't know, but they really show the casino a lot in this advertisement. But I wouldn't just go by yourself. I want my David Crosby. I need my three years. So, you know, we have this, and then we'll probably do uh, we'll about four or five more years of blabbing, staring at each other uh, before we just take a small breather. I mean, who knows? Yeah, who knows? We might be forced to work for forever. I need an 18-month David Crosby in the middle of the sea journey. You, I feel like that's, to be so, honest, we send you out with a microphone. That's fucking content. Sure. You I just mean, go out there, and we get it. From I'll do Marcus. bathroom checks. We Who's get, in the bathroom Marcus today? Marcus and I will check in with you on the high seas, and you'll be like, Saw another goal. And you'll be like, that is what you pay for. <laughs> yes, indeed. And of course, it would be fun to walk around with your pants off, see if you can't get a seagull to tug on your weenie. Actually, you wouldn't so, be a very not happy. Speaking of tugging, yes, let's do this. Their gulls and their beaks are just so you sharp. You don't want them to touch your the tender flesh of your very, and it's not a small penis, but it is when it's soft. It is. I'm not a. It'd be, I, I'm it'd a be grower, different if it was shower. hard. Like I think if my penis was hard and a gull attacked it, it would be less. It would hurt less than if it was. Well, I might bleed more, but I think it would hurt less than if my yeah. penis was soft. Like let's say I was like for some reason thinking that my my penis needed to see sun. Like on a na some a nude people beach. do do that. They say the vitamin D, ironically enough, is good for the penis. No, it's not. That's what people have said. It's never seen sunlight before. You don't tan your asshole. No, I'm not Gwyneth Paltrow. People do do that. I mean, I not know. us. No. But. no, 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 because you have to have an asshole that's People fit for see. consumption. <laughs> yeah. You have to have an asshole that, yeah, that a crowd would, would build Yeah, for. rub it with ammonia. Yeah. So anyway, but yes, the Gilgo, is it Gilgo? I, uh, Rob, you're from Long Island. Yeah. It's it Gilgo. It is Gilgo Beach. So yeah. the Gilgo uh, the, He can't even killer. escape Long Island, even if he wants to. He's here no. in Los Angeles, and it's right back here. The Long Island serial killer, formerly known as Lisk, he has been called very often Lisk, Long Island serial killer. Yeah, yeah, I get a, it. A suspect- sounds like a, Sounds like a train line that you take to the bodies. <laughs> it does. It was. Take the Lisk. Um, this was, he, a suspect has been identified as a huge-headed man by the name of Rex Hewerman. Uh, he really does have, he has a Mount Rushmore head. It is very, very big. He's got it George is. Washington's face, but he doesn't have his habits. No, well, he actually might. Benjamin Franklin. I am interested in this. First of all, I think one of the reasons it took forever, his name is Rex. When you think of a Rex, you I think don't- think he's got things figured out. I think he's, well, I think he's fun. I don't know why. I don't he's have not. any fun friend. I don't have any friends named Rex. He but I feel not. like Rex is the kind of guy, when you're in high school, you go throw rocks at houses with oh, him. Oh, yeah. Rex is a fun and, guy. Rex and, is a guy who's like gets all the hot girls. Yeah. And he's like, ah, Rex, you bastard. 
You you really wrecked your car drinking and driving again. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. then this guy, he didn't seem to be having any fun at no, all. No, he's an asshole. Uh, so again, innocent until proven guilty. But they've got a lot of evidence on him already. So he was an architect that lived a fairly high level life. He was uh, making six figures a year as a big time architect. They found his house, which was this like little little broke down fucking hovel in the middle of Long Island. Well, he wasn't and a very good would, architect. But I guess. he would commute. It was really strange. He would commute, and it was like you know, and in Long Island. Classic uh, your witness said, you know, it was weird because he looked like a businessman, but his house is a dump. 